Hey everyone, this is Lauren, and I'm sharing this as a special guest post for Beth Ann's blog, Edible Goddess. She's been loving all my applesauce recipes, so she asked me to share one with her readers. So here it is. So today we're going to be making an orange cranberry applesauce. So we'll start off with three apples. I have two gala apples and one golden delicious. You can do any apple you like. And it's so simple to do applesauce right in the Vitamix. So I'm going to chop up all three apples into just medium-sized chunks. It's going in the Vitamix. You don't need to do a whole lot of fine chopping. Just get the core out of there. And we'll put one and a half of the apple actually in the Vitamix to begin with. We're going to create some texture with the rest of it once we've done some blending. Now we're going to add some fresh organic cranberries, just about half a cup or so. All right, so now we're going to sneak some turmeric in here. Turmeric has lots of health benefits, so I like to sneak it into things like applesauce or smoothies. So we'll just throw it in there. It doesn't affect the flavor at all, just a couple dashes. And then next we have an orange. So I'm just going to cut off about a quarter of the orange. I'm going to use my hand to squeeze the orange juice on there. Just give it a little bit of that orange flavor. You could also just cut the rind off and throw the whole chunk of the orange with the fiber and everything in there too. It just depends on if you want your applesauce a little more fibrous or not. So I decided to just get the juice in today. And this is totally raw and vegan and it's actually pretty seasonal because apples, oranges, and cranberries are in season in California right now. So next we're going to add Goji Joy and this is an extract powder that is by Longevity Power. And it's a 12 to 1 extract, which means you're basically getting 12 teaspoons worth in one teaspoon of this. So it's concentrated. So I'm going to put the whole teaspoon in here, the one serving. I just happened to be out today, but I would add definitely like two or three inches of aloe vera right into this. And it blends right in. You don't even taste it. It's a superfood. It's amazing for digestion. It's amazing for everything. So throw that in there if you have it. Next, we're going to add a little bit of sea salt, Celtic sea salt. You can use whatever salt you like, the stuff that is the highest quality that you have. If you don't want to use salt and you have some Irish moss laying around, you can definitely throw some prepared Irish moss in here. That also will not have too much of a flavor effect on here. You're going to get all the minerals from the Irish moss and the salty flavor, so probably just like a couple teaspoons of that would be fine. So our next ingredient is going to be some fresh ginger root. And I like to throw the ginger root into pretty much every applesauce recipe that I do because I love ginger. It blends right in and it really adds to the flavor, especially with something like this that's seasonal that has the cranberries in there. I think it goes really well with the orange and the cranberries and the apple. And I'm doing about an inch of ginger right in there. You can peel the skin off if you want, but again, in the Vitamix, it's just going to blend right up. It'll be nice and smooth. You won't even notice it. Um, and ginger is amazing for digestion, so I like to have this recipe first thing in the morning, and it helps my digestion get started and warms everything up, and I really like to start my day out with ginger. If you have any kind of issue with ginger or you just don't like the flavor or it's too spicy, you can always try adding less or just omit that ingredient totally. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this over and I'm going to blend this until it's completely smooth. And okay, this is really looking beautiful and it tastes great. So now we're going to add in that last apple and a half to our mixture. And this time when we blend, we're just going to blend on low. I'm going to take it up on the variable speed Vitamix, take it up to about four or five just for a couple seconds so that the blades can break these bigger chunks into a little bit smaller chunks and we'll have some nice texture. We'll have the smoothness and then we'll have the chunks. If you just want total smoothness or your kids have a preference or whatever, you can just blend it all at one time until smooth. So we're going to do that and we'll see how it turns out. All right, this turned out awesome. I just tasted it and it has a nice balance of that tart cranberry flavor with the sweetness of the orange and the apples. So we're going to put this in our bowl and I usually have this for breakfast. This will just be my entire breakfast, and it's super quick to make. It's super easy. You can give it to your kids. It's got amazing health benefits. You can sneak all kinds of superfoods in here. You could throw some maca in here. You could throw, what else could you throw in here? Leave a comment below and let me know what kind of superfood or additional ingredient or spice you might add to this recipe to customize it for you or for your kids or for your spouse or for a friend. 
or just to get creative. So for the finishing touches, I like to use the rind from the orange that I juiced and a microplane, which is a zesting tool. I'm just gonna hold it right over the bowl and I'm gonna just get some orange zest right over this. And it's a nice complement to the color and it adds a little bit of flavor when you take that first bite. And see you next time.